everyone, it's me, Alex, <laughs> and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Today's video is just a quick one because some parcels turned up on my door and I have no idea what's in them. I mean, I have a little bit of a rough idea. The thing with Dolls Kill, I get emails from the PR influencer manager at Dolls Kill and she tells me about like new collections that they're launching and she sent me an email and she's like, hey, we're launching this current mood collection in time for Cyber Monday. And she said, so it was like the week before Cyber Monday and she was like, do you want to check it out? Do you want to do a review video? And I had a look at the items and they're crazy. <laughs> they're literally crazy and they are not my style in any way at all whatsoever. I know that some of my audience really really like stuff like this. I was like, you know what, sure. Let's have a bit of fun. I'll accept, I'll tell them yes, I'll, I'll do it. Anyway, so the stuff was meant to come in time for Cyber Monday, but because I'm all the way down here in Australia, didn't quite make it in time. So that's why I'm just gonna upload this really quickly. I, I don't know how much these things are. I don't know what's even in the parcels. Like I kind of left it up to them. They sent me some stuff. So I'm gonna be very surprised and uh, surprised. I don't know whether that's gonna be a good kind of surprise or a bad kind of surprise because all this stuff is like fluorescent and crazy for people who go to raves and stuff like that. And the only partying I do is sitting around with my friends watching Shane Dawson. So, look, the first thing I want to show you didn't come in one of these parcels. It came the other day. Usually I know when Dolls Kill is going to send me something. Like, they tell me. They send me an email. But this is the first time they've just sent me something completely randomly without me knowing. And I unboxed these and I freaked out. Look at these. Look at these shoes. Isn't this just the craziest thing you've seen in your entire life? They are so cool! I don't even know if they're on sale yet or not. Like, they turned up out of the blue, no information, I don't know the price of them, I don't know anything. But I did look them up on the website that looked like they were available for pre-order. So I'll, I'll link them below, but how sick is that? Uh, I mean, I don't know where I'll ever get a chance to wear them because they're so over the top. I was thinking of like doing a video where I wear crazy shoes from Dolls Kill. So if you want to see me do that and uh, I can style them and show you guys how I'd wear them and stuff, just let me know below. But yeah, that's, that's a good way to start the video with the most extra pair of shoes I've seen in my entire life. I feel like we should make a green version where it's just shoes with Archie's wings sticking out. That'd be a good idea, don't you think? Let's get into these parcels. So I've got no idea what's in here. That's a good sign. Look at this. Oh my god. Wow. This is a, a furry, fuzzy jacket. Oh my gosh. Well, this is nuts. Look how... Wow, look at this. It's very heavy. I mean, I thought this stuff was meant to be like raver gear, but... This is, this would be very, very warm to go to a rave wearing. Wow, this is so cool. This is not what I expected. Okay, we're off to a very good start. Uh, can you jump up there? Let's zip it up. This is feeling like it won't have very much room inside. So if you wanted to really layer this up, you know, to keep yourself warm and you wanted other layers underneath, potentially go a size bigger than what you'd normally wear. I mean, it, it will fit you okay, but I know that people like to layer things and I don't think there'd be much room for layering. I'm really struggling to zip this up. Okay, it's got a really stiff zipper. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, there you go. Just so you know, it's very hard to do up, but hey, it's done up now. This is sick. I don't believe it. <laughs> this is so cool. So it doesn't have a hood. It's just got like a, a collar. You can pop the collar. If you don't have a bird sitting on it, you can pop the collar. I'm dead. I don't even know what to tell you about this. I'll put the price here. I have no idea how much this is. I I'm gonna guess this is like, in Australian dollars, maybe 150 Australian dollars. Like, I've seen faux fur jackets before on ASOS and other websites. They're normally about 150 Australian dollars. I'll put the US and the Australian dollars up there. So, did I did I win? Did I get a score? Let's let's score me. Let's see how I go scoring these things today. So my guess is $150. Am I right? I'll put the scores below. I don't believe it. I'm so glad they said this. I saw this on the list when they sent me what the collection looked like. I saw this, I can't believe they actually sent it. You guys aren't ready for this. Look at this. This is a 
giant iridescent bag. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. I don't believe it. Wow. It's really heavy. Why is it so heavy? I don't know. It's just extremely heavy, but there's nothing in it. It's got like a really long strap here. It's this giant duffel bag that's iridescent. I reckon if I turn this down, this is a trick Christine taught me. If you turn the brightness down, then you can see more colors. Wow, that's sick. How cool is that? It feels very, very crinkly, like really, really, it's very unusual, like the feel of it. I feel like and unless you get one, you won't really understand the feeling. Like it's almost like over crinkled paper or something. So th this outer layer that's iridescent is very, very thin and then it must have a thicker layer on the inside. So I do feel like that could tear quite easily, but it's absolutely huge. Look how big this thing is. That's massive. That is literally one of the coolest bags I've ever seen. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is a hundred Australian dollars, I reckon, which is a lot, but like, I feel like they, they kind of have control of the market here. How many other places can you find a gigantic iridescent bag? Uh, I haven't seen that anywhere else, so I feel like they could probably charge whatever they want, and I reckon a hundred dollars. Like, if I went into a store and saw that, I would probably pay up to 80 and then over $80 I'd be like, oh, it's too much. Like, I'll save up, I'll save up for it. I'll ask for it for Christmas or something. But like, yeah, I reckon, it, I reckon it's a hundred bucks, which totally seems like for something so huge and so epic, uh, I guess that's all right. So that's sick. Okay, there's another parcel. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, this stuff is insane. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, um, how, where do I start? Oh, okay, so these are black pants. There's, I think that's a purple dress. That's a crazy rainbow skirt. They, I don't even know. This is, this is a jacket by the looks of it, a plastic jacket. And then this is a top. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the pants on. Right, these are really, really heavy. What, are these rave pants? Obviously, this is not my style. You guys are gonna freak. I feel like I've seen pants like this in construction or something. They're like high-vis pants with the shiny reflective things on the side. Let's give it a go. I haven't worn big, baggy black pants since I was an emo in like 2007. Okay, so I'm gonna try on these black pants with this t-shirt. So they've sent, this is a black t-shirt. And... Okay, it's a little tiny, tiny t-shirt. Stay out of my room. I'll put that on with the pants. Okay, uh, this t-shirt is really cute. I really like it. I would have got so much wear out of this back when I, I used to wear black clothes a lot. These pants, this is, this is very strange. You're talking to someone that's like never been to a rave or any sort of club or party or anything. I don't do that sort of thing, so I, I don't go to festivals. I don't go to Coachella. I don't know any of that stuff. So can someone tell me why there are overalls suspenders down at my thighs like are they they're obviously not supposed to go up like this are they no i, I don't think so no no uh, no doesn't look like it no am i raving right Now, obviously I can't show you guys the bottom of the crazy pants because I can't get far back enough so i'll just have to put up a picture of what this looks like uh but this is you know the pants are really cool they feel really really well made they feel expensive like they feel like 70 dollar pants i reckon australian dollars 70 australian dollars the top just feels maybe like a 20 dollar top so that's my guess for these two things i'll leave these pants on because there's a couple of other tops here for me to try like uh like this <laughs> this is nice look at this this reminds me of <laughs> This reminds me of when I was a kid, uh, like jelly sandals and stuff like that. It's this giant plastic fluorescent, I don't know, is this meant to be a rain jacket? Surely you're not meant to rave in this. This would get so hot. Oh, that smell, that is taking me back. That is that 1990s plastic jelly shoes kind of smell. What do you think, Archie? This might not be my style in any way at all, but I can appreciate it. This is kind of cool. 
Honestly, can you guys please educate me? Like, treat me like I'm, you know, a 70 year old that has no idea what the young whippersnappers get up to these days and explain this style to me, explain this trend. Where does it come from? What does it want with us? But yeah, I might actually keep this. I might keep this and I might even keep the tea, but the pants, I feel like they can go to a better home. So, uh, what, how much do I think this cost? $50. I'm gonna say $50. Feels like a $50 sort of plastic top, but it's very, very crinkly. It's not uncomfortable. I can imagine this getting very, very sweaty. Uh, did you guys ever see that thing with the, the plastic boots on the runway? I feel like this would start to look a lot like that within about five minutes of wearing it. So practicality wise, I don't think this is particularly practical. I mean, I'm literally, I'm already sticking to it. It's getting very, very warm in here. So, oh, and it's very hard to take off because it's so sticky. Oh no, oh no, I'm trapped. Archie, you have to get off, friend. Can you sit there? Oh my god. Ugh. 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 Oh, hot, hot. What are you? Freaky deaky fuzzy dress. Freaky deaky. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's so <coughs> soft. <gasps> Look, Archie. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, this is promising. This is very fuzzy. Very, very fuzzy. Purple. Uh, maybe like, is it halter neck but open back? Ooh, this is gonna be good. I'm excited about this. I don't... How? How? I don't understand. Five minutes later. I think I figured it out. I think. I'm not certain. I could be wrong. But I think it's something like that. Okay, because I'm trying to lace this up on my own, uh, I can't actually tell you if it's done up properly or not, but hey, close enough is good enough, and it looks basically right. This is so, so soft. Archie, that sound is Archie sitting above the camera, preening. Come here. So this is really, 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 really soft. I think it's very flattering with this cut. I love this so much. I'm gonna wear this a lot. This is a really, really nice purple color. Like I said, it's so comfortable. I reckon this is like, I think this would probably be a $30 dress. That's gonna be my guess. And I think it's worth $30. I think it's really, really playful, really, really cute. I think this would look nice with a cloud jacket. Maybe that's me remembering in the back of my head. Maybe I've seen this styled like this, but I think that's really, really cute. I love it. I love this dress. This is so nice. Actually, hang on, let's complete the outfit. Let's put the coat on and the bag. Now, uh, what, what would the kids call yeah. this? They'd call it, this is looking pretty lit. Okay, there's only two more items. So like I said, it's a just a short and sweet haul video. These look insane. This skirt, this is really, really cool. Ow, ow, ow. Claws, Archie, claws. <coughs> look at that rainbow skirt. That's really, really cool. And uh, this, I think this is a turtleneck top. I've seen pictures of this top. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, whoa, that's a huge turtleneck. Okay, right? Let's put these on together. Archie, look, it's green. What do you think? Okay, here it is. Very unusual outfit. Definitely not something that I would regularly wear. The skirt is really, really cool. It has pockets, so major points for the pockets. That automatically makes it worth at least 50 bucks. I'm joking. I really like this huge turtleneck look. Like, look at, look how big this turtleneck is. I don't think I've ever seen such a big turtleneck. It's huge. That's great for if you're out in public and you're feeling socially awkward and you don't want anyone to look at you. You just become a sock. I wish that this came in like pink or something. I would never take it off. Fluorescent green, look, it might be good for Archie. Archie adores it. It's not really my color scheme. I don't wear a lot of colors like this. And also the skirt. I love rainbows. As you can tell, there's some rainbow things here, but I like pastel rainbows. It's, uh, it's my personal preference. I think it's a little bit short, like, like very, very short. So I don't know. I reckon the skirt is like a, $40 skirt. I think the top is probably a $30 top or something. Archie's going absolutely ham back there. Are you right? 
I know, it, I know, but look, we're gonna do an all green haul one day. If there's any green items of clothing you want me to review, please leave them down below from any store. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, Dolls Kill, for sending me these crazy things. I'm sure some of my audience is gonna love them. Obviously, like I said, it's not my style, but I thought, oh, oh, I just, oh, that's sick. Wow, I didn't notice that before. Oh, oh my God, okay. Now I don't care what color it is. I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot. Now that I've discovered that, I have such a thing for these sort of, what do you call this? Is this like a, a glove sleeve or something? I don't know, but I have such a huge thing for them. Oh my God, that's epic. Okay, the value of this top has just gone up by uh, 50 bucks. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any other items from Dolls Kill that you want me to review. I have a Sugar Thrills haul, which is epic. It's either up already or it's going up soon. Keep an eye out because that one's gonna be very, very good. So uh, yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!